So I'm attorney Gloria Allred and welcome. And uh, to my right is our client, Nikki Diaz Santillan. To my left is my law partner, Dolores Leal. I'll be reading uh, a statement and providing a copy of evidence. Uh, and all of you will be receiving this copy. Uh, after I make my statement, I will be standing and I will be displaying uh, the evidence so that it will be very, very easily viewed. Questions too, of course? And of course, yes, I will be happy to take questions. After we have the news conference in English, Dolores will then take my place. Dolores will read our statement in Spanish and uh, perhaps take a few questions. Nikki today is not going to be making any statements. Uh, it was just very, very emotionally uh, challenging yesterday, and we're going to allow her to be here today and to be in support. So I represent Meg Whitman's former husband, Nikki Diaz Santillan. Nikki, an undocumented worker, was employed by Ms. Whitman for approximately nine years until she was fired by her in June 2009. Yesterday at a news conference, Nikki alleged that Ms. Whitman knew by 2003 or before that date that she and her husband, Dr. Harsh, were employing an undocumented worker. My client indicated that part of our proof of this allegation was sent to Ms. Whitman and her husband from the Social Security Administration in a letter dated April 22, 2003. The letter indicated that the Social Security number that Nikki had provided to her employer, Meg Whitman, and Dr. Harsh did not match Nikki's name. A mismatch of a social security number to an employee's name is a clue that the employee may be undocumented. In interviews after my news conference yesterday, Ms. Whitman clearly denied that she and her husband received such a letter. New York Times, September 29, 2010, quote, we never received that notification, end quote. Associated Press, September 29, 2010, quote, we never received that letter or that notification, end quote. Los Angeles Times, September 30th, 2010, Whitman denied receiving any such letters. San Francisco Chronicle, September 30th, 2010, was there a letter? Whitman's team said the former CEO never saw such a letter, and in any case, Diaz was in charge of picking up the mail in the house. Today, I am distributing to the press the letter which Meg Whitman denied that she and her husband received. It is from the Social Security Administration and is addressed to Griffith Harsh and Margaret C. Whitman, 24 Edge Road, Atherton, California. It is dated April 22, 2003. It informs Ms. Whitman and her husband, Dr. Harsh, that the information reported to Social Security about Nikki, their employee, does not match the government's records. It then tells the employer, Ms. Whitman and her husband, what they need to do. Number one, quote, compare the information shown above to your employment records, end quote. It's unknown to us if they did this. Two. Quote, if the records match, ask the employee to give you the name and social security number exactly as it appears on the employee's social security card, end quote. In response to this letter, neither Meg Whitman nor Dr. Harsh asked Nikki to give them her name and social security number. Number five, quote, fill in the information above and return in the enclosed envelope, end quote. Dr. Harsh did fill it out partially, and neither he nor Meg Whitman returned it to the government. Meg Whitman and her husband deny receiving the letter, but please look at the bottom of the letter. On it, Dr. Harsh has written, quote, Nikki, please check this. Thanks, end quote. Nikki recognizes this as Dr. Harsh's writing, since he wrote her many notes. He wrote this on the letter and then gave it to Nikki. 
That is why she has it. After that, he never asked her to return it to Meg Whitman or to him. They are the employers. And the letter clearly indicates that it is the employer's duty to return the completed letter to the government, which they clearly did not do, since Meg Whitman said, quote, we never received that letter, end quote. Why didn't they return that 2003 letter or similar ones received in subsequent years from the government? Nikki alleges that she saw the other letters in the trash. We conclude that they didn't return the 2003 letter because they wanted to continue to employ an undocumented worker since she was easier to exploit than a documented one. They knew from the Social Security letters as well as from Nikki's statement to Ms. Whitman before 2003 and after that, that Nikki could not travel outside of the country. That was still another clue that Nikki was undocumented. Today, we have clearly proven with the release of this letter that Meg Whitman lied to the press and the public when she said, quote, we never received that letter and notification, end quote. Her attempt to deceive the public and hide the fact that she knew that she was employing an undocumented worker long before she fired Nikki in 2009 has failed. Whitman is exposed as a liar and a hypocrite. She should now apologize to Nikki, the press, and the public for her blatant lie. The truth is that Nikki was fired because Meg Whitman was afraid that she would be exposed as an employer who knew that she was employing an undocumented worker for many years. Nikki attempt to become legal and ask Meg for assistance to get an immigration attorney would have revealed that. Meg Whitman should be ashamed and embarrassed that she has lied, but I am so proud of Nikki. She is the hero in this story. She is the courageous Rosa Parks of the movement to win respect and dignity for Latinas and others in the workplace. We respect and we admire Nikki and all the other Nikki's who work so hard in millions of homes every day. Nikki is an inspiration to them and we thank her for finding the strength and the courage to come forward. Muchas gracias. Okay, now we'd like to show you some exhibits and then we'll take some questions. Okay. Press. This is what I just referred to. Quote, All Red claims Whitman received a letter from the Social Security Administration on April 22, 2003, saying the Social Security number provided by the housekeeper did not match the name on file. Whitman denied that account. Quote, We never received that letter or that notification, she said after a campaign event in San Jose, California by Michael R. Blood and Juliet Williams, Associated Press. Thank you. I'm going to leave the service to stand back. Quote, this is from Meg Whitman. We do have to hold employers accountable for hiring only documented workers, and we do have to enforce that law, end quote. That's Meg Whitman's quote from the Jerry Brown-Meg Whitman debate on September 28, 2010, Davis, California, from an article by Michael R. Blood and Juliet Williams, Associated Press. Thank you. Okay. Next one. Okay.
Thank you. I'm sorry. Okay, this is the front of the letter from the Social Security Administration Retirement Survivors and Disability Insurance request for employer information. Griffith Harsh and Margaret C. Whitman, 24 Edge Road, Atherton, California, and their zip. And there is the date, April 22nd, and uh, I have also blocked out her social security number, as it is appropriate to do for her. Okay, and uh, this gives information that the reasons the reported information doesn't agree with our records may include, and then it goes into what that is. So that's the front of the letter which you have. Thank you, Dolores. And now comes the smoking gun or the smoking document, smoking letter. Okay, this is what Dr. Harsh filled out. Of course, he didn't do what the government requires, which is to fill it out completely. He filled it out partially. He didn't put her address in as required by the government. Uh, and he wrote this little note to her on the bottom, Nikki. Please check this. Thanks. He never asked her to return it to him or to Meg Whitman, both of whom had the duty, the responsibility to return this to the government. Uh, I hope they're not going to try to say they didn't know. I mean, they're both rather successful, well-educated people. I think they can read this and understand that it's their duty as an employer to return it. So that's that's there. Thank you. And we'll, we'll leave these up here afterwards in case you would like to photograph them. But right now, I'd like to sit down and take some questions. And okay, so. And as soon as you sit down, Gloria, we're, we're on live on channel okay. 9 right now. The, 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 obvious, <laughs> the, ob having it that, the obvious question, I guess, would be being thinking like a lawyer sometimes. They would say, okay, fine. M Meg Whitman would say, all right, that could be my husband's signature, but he never gave it to me. So clear. Is that a, a foolish way to look at this? Well, I mean, I don't know what she's going to say, so let's see. I mean, is she going to deny it? Well, she emphatically denied it over and over this I morning. know. Well, now that we've shown you the evidence, let's see if she's going to deny it, because if she's going to deny it, then I guess maybe we will perhaps want to meet and confer again. Because she alluded that Nikki was in evidence. charge of the mail and that, and that Nikki knew what, what it was and that she took the mail Excuse away me. and oh. never showed mail. Okay, I'd like to speak about the mail for a minute, but then I want to take other people's questions if I may, oh, too. Okay, thank you. But that's a, that's a fair question about the mail. But you don't have any accurate... Okay, oh, may, well, may I, I, I want to answer that, the and then well, I'll be happy to answer the other questions. First of all, Nikki asserts that the only time that she ever was asked or that was part of her job duties to get the mail was when Meg Whitman and her husband were on vacation, which clearly they were not on the date that Dr. Harsh gave her that letter. Any other time when Dr. Harsh and Meg Whitman were home, they obtained their own mail. She only took it for them when they were on vacation. So I think hopefully that How answers How do we know that that's his handwriting? Have you gotten a handwriting expert to compare other handwriting examples? Okay. Nikki asserts that that is his handwriting. So I'm looking forward to the response of Meg Whitman and Dr. Harsh, whether they would like to now confirm that, whether they would like to deny that. If they would like to deny that, I'm prepared to come back and present further evidence in the same way as when they denied yesterday that they ever received such a letter. I'm happy to come back and uh, present you with...